Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name's Harry Wolf, and the first thing I wanna to say to you as the first video of this new New Year is Happy New Year. How was your New Year's? Did you have a good New Year's? I had a New Year's lunch, not a New Year's dinner, and that was terrific. I hope yours was great as well. Uh, the other thing I wanna ask is, uh, do you want to have a newsletter now? Every Wednesday I send out a newsletter where you can kind of hear from me more if you still, if you are still inclined. Link in the description, link on my website, but it gives you kind of like the old console log collection of news that I'm, that I'm reading every week, both uh, front-end JavaScript news, but also with like media news, like new trailers for movies and TV shows. It's kind of just a smorgasbord of what I'm interested in. So if you are interested in that, do check out the newsletter. This being the first video of the new year, uh, I'm gonna start off this video on a topic that is very near and dear to my heart right now. Burnout. Uh, I got some a little. Uh, the vacation of being off for about a month was amazing. I got to rest, I got to just sit on the couch and watch TV, and I very much enjoyed it. And getting back into the swing of things, making these videos once a week, has been far, far harder than I ever anticipated. And the reason for this difficulty getting back to the swing of things is burnout. I'm a little burned out. And I'm going to own that word. I think sometimes people think of burnout as a dirty word, one that you should avoid and kind of repress and not talk about. And inevitably, when you do that, it gets worse. Burnout is a very real thing. It is almost, I'm not sure if it's an emotion or reaction, but it's, let's call it an emotion, just like being scared, being angry, being hungry is an emotion. A burnout is a way of your body telling you that you need to chill the beep out. For me, burnout is almost like burnout and productivity are, are two, two sides of the same coin. You have productivity and the yin to that yang is burnout. And I'm very much in the belief that you have high crests of productivity and then you have crests, high crests of productivity and then deep hills or deep valleys of uh, burnout. And it's kind of like a roller coaster where you can ride that productivity going up and then you got to ride that burnout going down. And if you don't let yourself ride that burnout to the bottom and you try to stop that burnout midway through and try to go back up that productivity ramp, you're not going to go as high as you could be if you actually let yourself rest. It's so important, in my opinion, to actually see that burnout all the way through see it to the bottom of the barrel when you're sitting on the couch staring at static, but that is what your body needs. I would even argue that burnout is healthy. It is a natural part of life. You have to be one with the burnout and embrace it and not try to ignore it. If you ignore burnout, it will win. There's no way that you can lift a thousand pound weight if you've never done any training before. You have to wait and rest and let your body heal before you can climb that slope of productivity again. Burnout is real. I definitely have a little bit. I'm not ashamed to say. I'm hoping that this kind of video kind of gets me towards the bottom to kind of explore the depths of it because I want to be making more videos for you. But right now, I'm a little tired. And also, there's a lot of good TV on over the holiday break. I watch so many shows. So if you are feeling burned out or if you're feeling productive, they're both great. They're both good. They're both proper and real. Burnout, it's a dirty word, but only because society says you always have to be making something. And that's bullshit in my opinion. I'm cheating because I'm making something about being burned out, but don't take my example as the way to go about these things. Uh, always in the past, I've had those months of amazing productivity and then a month of incredible procrastination. And recognizing my own patterns has let me be happier and healthier when I see those modes changing. 
and be able to anticipate them, react to them, and be okay with them. I think it's important for you to do the same as well. Know how your body works, how your mind works with being productive and then having to rest. Burnout is just a dirty way of saying you got to rest. You got to actually take a breather, take yourself out of the game, sit on the bench, let yourself catch your breath, breath, and then when you're ready, you can go back out there and hit another home run. So that's the video for the week. Burnout, it's real. Hopefully it's gone next week. If not, then that's going to be tough to make a video. You should be in touch with yourself about what you know about burnout with your own body, when it happens, how you deal with it best, and be okay with it. I'll see you again next week with a brand new video. Hopefully, if my burnout seeps out of my pores and lets me be one with the productivity again. But until then, subscribe if you're not already a subscriber. Check out the newsletter, Patreon, Discord. I'm trying to make myself as out there as possible. Talk to you on the next video. Bye.